reported today in The Verge. Big tech CEOs are learning the art of the filibuster. The Interface is a daily column and newsletter about the intersection of social media and democracy. Subscribe here. Umaniacs sold out our second ever Interface Live event, with Uncanny Valley author Anna Wiener, in record time. Thanks to everyone who bought a ticket, and will look into finding a bigger venue for the next one. In the meantime, I'm looking forward to seeing a good number of you on February 4th. The basic idea behind journalism is that there are things people don't know that they should know, and that someone ought to go find the people who do know about the things and ask them. Most of the time when a journalist interviews someone, they learn something useful, and then report it all back to us so we can have a shared understanding of reality and make better decisions about how to live. Historically, a person that lots of journalists have wanted to talk to is the big tech CEO. As companies like Amazon and Apple grew in power, getting the chance to sit down with a Jeff Bezos or a Tim Cook became wildly appealing. Here were people who knew about many, many things, things that affected almost all of us, and could tell us about them with a candor that their employees typically will not permit themselves. And yet when you think of what you have learned from reading the thoughts of tech CEOs over the past few years, well, what have you learned? If you hang around the darker, more thought leader Y corners of medium, it's possible you'll have gleaned a few insights into customer acquisition or recruiting. But if what you're after is a CEO's worldview, or even just a moderately unvarnished look into their decision-making process, you typically come up empty. I thought about all this today while reading Adam Lashinsky's conversation with Google and Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai in Fortune. It's the first long interview Pichai has given since being elevated to the role of Alphabet CEO, and Lashinsky asks him about many of the subjects you would expect from a journalist in his position. Lashinsky asks why Alphabet exists, and whether Pichai will crack down on the spending of its non-Google companies. He asks what companies Pichai considers to be his competition, and whether he has a plan to deal with the possibility that the US government will attempt to break up Alphabet on antitrust grounds. And what Lashinsky gets back from Google is, almost nothing at all. Here's a characteristically empty exchange. Who do you see as your biggest competitors? I've always worried as a company at scale your biggest competition is from within, that you stop executing well, you focus on the wrong things, you get distracted. I think when you focus on competitors you start chasing and playing by the rules of what other people are good at rather than what makes you for more on this story, visit the news article link.